friends, this is my first video blog. Now these are, are going to be infrequent and kind of little bonus episodes. They're not going to get in the way of our regular Friday afternoon videos. I just really wanted to, to do a couple of things. The first is to share some of who I am outside of the informational videos and the testing videos and uh, of course enjoying coffee. Now you saw at the beginning of this video we started with coffee. Coffee is fantastic. It's the jet fuel that uh, propels this guy and the coffee grounds in fact are fantastic for your garden. If I speak about anything like any videos that I've already done I'll put it, I'll put them all in the description below just so that you have access to them. Uh, today I'm going to set up right here my winter garden. Um, I'm going to try, we've had an uncharacteristically warm winter, which means I've got no snow in the garden. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my hoop house today. So the other thing that I'm going to talk about today is who I am as a gardener, where I got my start, and a little bit about my educational background because a lot of you have been asking about um, my background simply because I do a lot of the you know, science type gardening videos and I wanted to share a little bit of where I come from so that you can understand why I like to do this series so much. Anyways, without further ado, let's get some of the equipment together to build our uh, cold frame. Get started. So I finished off my little project for today. You can see the hoop house is right there. Uh, I've got my min-max thermometers. I'm going to toss one on the inside and one uh, on the outside just to see what the difference is uh, between the two. Anyways, a lot of you guys have asked me over the years. Uh, how long I've been gardening for, why I started gardening and all that. So, you know, as long as I can really remember, I've been gardening. Um, some of my fondest memories as a kid is gardening with my parents in Yellowknife, which is um, in the subarctic. I believe it's zone zero. If you haven't, Google it. And when I moved to uh, this house with my wife, uh, she said, well, we got a backyard. Might as well throw in a garden. And that's really where my obsession started. So I, uh, I really got obsessive about it, uh, as you guys can probably tell, and I really, really enjoy gardening. I mean, I've enjoyed it as long as I can remember, but uh, what's special now is, is I can share it with you, and now I can also share it with my son, and hopefully culture some of those fantastic memories that I have with my parents with my son. Let's toss these, uh, these in the hoop house. Guess what time it is? It's lunch. And today I get to harvest my salad from my indoor garden, which I'm super excited about. I get to do this about once a week, so let's go inside and grab lunch. That was a delicious, delicious salad. I, uh, I really like harvesting my own food, not just because I've grown it, but because it's just so, so tasty and, and mm. anyways. So it's been about 45 minutes since I put the, the Maxman thermometer in the uh, hoop house or, or low tunnel within the cold frame. And I'm kind of interested to see what the difference in temperature is. It's about uh, 16 degrees Celsius, according to my, uh, my own thermometer in my backyard, which is fantastic for March. So, uh, Let's go check it out. It is 35 degrees Celsius within the cold frame and it's 22 degrees Celsius outside, which is a difference of 13 degrees after only 45 minutes on this wonderfully sunny day. That's fantastic.
I think in two or three days the soil in there will be melted, especially if it's sunny and warm like it is today. So I'm going to try a little experiment where I'm going to plant some of my cold hardy crops here in the beginning of March, which is really, really early for me. But I'm going to see if I can get them to germinate, which would allow me to, to say, harvest just a little bit longer into the season. And uh, I'm really excited about that. I think it'll be an interesting little experiment. And I'll show, show the experiment uh, in one of my regular uh, videos, especially if it turns out. So a number of you have asked what my educational background is. I got my degree in biology from the University of Alberta a number of years ago and have actually been practicing in my day job in a very similar field allowing me that that is very transferable to the garden stuff. I think the degree in biology has really helped me understand the science of gardening and both supporting and myth busting uh, through the testing garden assumptions series some of the products practices and methods so I'm, I'm really glad that I've been able to uh, to use my education for that and it's been really a nice refreshing um, exercise it's just about three o'clock and it's release day. I really like release day for videos. Um, I'm nervous most of the time, which is fine. Uh, usually I wait there and I sit at my computer looking, waiting for the first comment to see what you guys think of, of this week's video. Um, but anyways, I really like release day. So I release my videos at uh, three o'clock on Friday afternoons, three o'clock Mountain Central time. And uh, I usually sit by the computer until my first few comments come in because I'm nervous to see what you guys think of the video. Uh, 16 minutes until release time. The first two comments on today's video. Thank you both very much. Well, it's that time of day. I gotta go get my son. Um, I'm gonna actually walk to get him in our brand new wagon. Um, this one folds up. It's actually really convenient. Anyways, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a walk, but I, I thought it would be absolutely fantastic to do today because it's so warm and beautiful and I don't want to be inside uh, even inside of a car I want to stay outside because it's been even though it's been a mild winter it's been a long winter <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think of this format. Um, I had a lot of fun shooting it um, and uh, hopefully I'll have a lot of fun editing it. Uh, give me your thoughts in the comment section below or on my Facebook page. Uh, Facebook, by the way, you do, you do get a little, uh, some exclusives that you don't get on the YouTube channel. Anyways, have a great day. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you later.